resolving the prices issue. But the Prime Minister is busy photographing cheetahs. Ports, airports, roads, telecoms, power, agriculture, any business they want to dominate, they can dominate. Imagine a country where our youngsters are committing suicide because they cannot get a job. Imagine a country where two or three big businessmen control the entire wealth of the country. Any business they want to do, they can enter and dominate. I'd like to welcome all the senior leaders on the stage and all the Congress leaders, workers and friends from the public. I'd like to welcome all of you here today. And I'd like to begin by thanking all of you for supporting this Yatra, for walking with this Yatra and for putting all your energy behind the idea of Bharat Jodo and this Yatra. We call this Yatra Bharat Jodo Yatra and the idea is to bring India together and unite India once again. We have forces that are in power in Delhi that divide the nation along religious lines, along language lines, Iraq lines and over the last few years, they have created an atmosphere of anger in the entire country. And the ideas that they promote are against the DNA of our nation and against the DNA of the people of Kerala. And it is very clear to see on the streets of, of Kerala, Kerala that there is nothing but love, affection and unity in this state. And this idea is not a new idea in Kerala. It comes from your great leaders like Sri Narayana Guru, Chatampi Swamiji, Mahatma Ayankali Ji. All these people preached togetherness, brotherhood and unity. And they preached it because they understood it was important for the people for there to be harmony in society. Because without harmony there can be no progress. Today we saw a fantastic dance performance by youngsters. And the dance was about the unemployment crisis in India. Through dance they explained the entire crisis to all of us. They showed us how two or three big businessmen have captured all the wealth of the country. They showed us how millions of youngsters take exams again and again and again, go for interviews again and again and again and don't get a job. They showed us the pain felt by the family members, by the parents and the children themselves. And then they showed us the tragic consequences like suicide. Imagine a country where our youngsters are committing suicide because they cannot get a job. Imagine a country where two or three big businessmen control the entire wealth of the country. Any business they want to do, they can enter and dominate. They can squeeze everybody out of that business. Why? Because they are close to the leadership of the country. Ports, airports, roads, telecoms, power, agriculture, any business they want to dominate, they can dominate. On one side you have two or three big business people and on the other side you have crores of Indian people who cannot get a job, who have to suffer the indignity of the high prices, who have to see their children go hungry. Crores and crores of people have fallen back into poverty as a result of this. Yeah. The government of India systematically attacks small and medium businesses, systematically attacks farmers, systematically attacks laborers. It's an amazing sight. On one side we have the highest unemployment we've had. On the other side we have the highest prices we've had in years. People of India are going through tremendous pain. At the same time, the Prime Minister has got eight cheetahs from Africa. It's absurd. The problems of the nation are unemployment and prices. But the Prime Minister is releasing cheetahs in the wild. You imagine, the Prime Minister should be spending his time thinking about unemployment, resolving the unemployment crisis, resolving the prices issue. But the Prime Minister is busy photographing cheetahs. I don't have a problem with cheetahs. Cheetahs have done nothing wrong. 
and I am happy that cheetahs are being reintroduced. But the Prime Minister must also do something about the millions and millions of youngsters who don't have a job. The Prime Minister should also do something about the pain the people of India are suffering because of the rise in prices. Prime Minister should do something about the cashew workers, about the coir workers, about the millions of auto rickshaw drivers, delivery boys who are having to pay huge amounts for petrol. And that is the idea of the Bharat Jodo Yatra, to show that India cannot be divided and to show that there is a price to dividing India. There is a price to not having a harmonious, peaceful society. And the price is the highest unemployment we have faced, the highest prices we have faced and concentration of wealth in a few hands. We have among the richest people in the world and yet we have the highest unemployment in the world. We have extremely high prices and we have huge amounts of inequality in this country. These are the issues that the Bharat Jodo Yatra is trying to bring to the fore. I'd like to once again thank all of you for joining this Yatra, for giving us all your energy and all your support and your love and affection. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Namaskar. नेशनल दस्तक की आपसे गुजारिश है कि अगर इसको बचाना चाहते हैं तो नेशनल दस्तक को सब्सक्राइब करने के लिए रेड कलर के सब्सक्राइब बटन को दबाएं, फिर बेल आइकन की घंटी दबाएं। नेशनल दस्तक को बचाने के लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि हर खबर को शेयर करें लाइक करें कमेंट जरूर करें